Hello, my name is Simon Burrows. I'm the Professor of Modern European History at the University of Leeds and Principal Investigator on the French Book Trade in Enlightenment Europe. I'm going to use this short video just to talk a little bit about the project. There are many other instructional materials available in the database, but you might like to watch this introduction first. The French Book Trade Project is a small collaborative team project funded by the Arts and Humanities Research Council and the University of Leeds. What we set out to do in the project was to create a database of a Swiss publisher bookseller, the Société Typographique de Neuchâtel, who sold their books around Europe in the 18th century by mail order, a sort of Amazon of the 18th century. The database we have created records the entire customer base of the Société Typographique de Neuchâtel and all the other individuals with whom they tended to do business around Europe. In addition, it records where they lived and what their professions were. It records the books that they bought from or sent to the Société Typographique de Neuchâtel which traded in other people's books as well as their own. And it records what those books were, giving a detailed bibliographic breakdown, but also information about the subject content of those books and about whether or not they were considered illegal in certain European jurisdictions. So the wider aims of our project were to map the book trade around Europe, both literally and metaphorically, to see what sorts of material were selling well in one place and in another, to try to create a comparative view of reading tastes and also the impact of things such as laws banning particular books. So we were really looking at who was reading what, where and when. In addition, we hope that the tools the models and the data structures that we have created will be of use to other bibliographic projects. We believe in many ways that we have developed new standards and ways of linking the data in ways that are meaningful. In the process, we hope users will be able to find all sorts of ways to enter, discover and evaluate 18th century Enlightenment culture. What can you do with this database? Well, firstly, you can browse all the different sections to find out what books, customers, places, authors and subject matter it covers. Secondly, you can map all of those things on a variety of different maps of Europe that we have created for the purpose you can map both large groups of books, for example, all books on philosophy, or you can do much smaller maps of individual titles and where they went. What you can do with maps, you can also do by using our rank menu to create bestseller tables of books, authors, places, subject content matter. And you can do that for any time period covered in the database, right down to the individual day. Or you can look at sales trends to see how sales changed over time. Did Voltaire's death lead to a sudden explosion in interest in his books, for example? Or what happened in 1781 when the French finance minister turned his compte rendu des finances, his financial report, into a best-selling text. Help and instructions about how to do all of these things is found inside the database under our Help and Resources menu. We would suggest that to get started, perhaps you look at one or two of the introductory materials before graduating to more sophisticated, complex ones. We hope that you will enjoy exploring this database as much as we have enjoyed and profited from making it. 
We hope too that it will lead you to a better understanding of the richness and complexity of that cultural phenomenon known as the Enlightenment. So happy browsing and goodbye. Thank you.